dieting can be really hard. There are a lot of different options out there and there are some really bad food choices that you can make and that just makes things so difficult. So if you're trying to lose weight, how do you stay motivated? What is the key? Today, I'm going to tell you in this brief video what I feel is the key and also give you a couple of other tips to go with. First of all, the key is having a why, a really good why as to why you're doing what you're doing, right? So this is what you want to ask yourself. What is it that I am trying to accomplish here? And it needs to be something that is not going to be like a goal that you get to and then you're there, right? So this isn't really a goal. This is your motivation. This is your why. So let me give you some examples here of good and bad um, whys. One that's not a very effective why would be that I want to lose weight or I want to lose, let's say, 50 pounds. The reason why that's not a good why is because you're going to get to the point where you lose that 50 pounds or you get close to it and the why is gone. There, there's no reason to have that why anymore because you've lost that weight. So if you don't adjust your why, then you're going to get complacent and you're going to start gaining the weight back. That's why it's important to have a really good why right from the start that continues to be effective, continues to be your why throughout time. Here's a really good why. And this is actually my why. Um, I want to make sure that I am able to watch my kids grow up and, uh, you know, get married, have kids of their own, that kind of thing, be able to uh, play with grandkids and so forth and not be sore, be able to go out and do things with my wife, um, well into retirement and, you know, be adventurous and so forth. That's a really good why, because I'm going to be able to continue to have that why and remind myself of that why all the time. Um, it's not like it's something that I'm going to get to that point And then I can't, you know, go past that really, because I've already reached that goal or whatever. So it's, it's not so much a goal. It's a why. And, um, it's going to be very effective. Now, a, another example of a why that isn't as effective would be that I want to fix a particular health issue that I have. Um, so let's say I, I want to um, lower my blood pressure. Okay. Um, it sounds like a good why, but in itself, it really isn't because what's going to happen is you're going to do the things you need to, you're going to get that blood pressure in control. And now you don't have as much of a why as much of a, to keep, you know, a, a why to keep searching for, to keep fighting to get to because you're there. So too often people at that point start to get complacent again, and they start to slip a little bit with what they're doing. And before they know it, they're starting to gain weight again or whatever it is, but their blood pressure again, start going up, that kind of thing. And now they got to jump back into it. Now, at least you can recognize that you need to jump back into it, but yo-yoing is not a good thing. So it's better to have a better why than that. So let's say you want to use blood pressure. This is what you want to do. You want to have a why where it's something to the effect of, I want to improve my blood pressure because I want to stay healthy and be able to um, take care of my kids or, or be with my grandkids or something to that effect, right? Because you've added that more personal thing in there that is not going to change. Like you're never going to actually fully get to that, right? You're going to be able to continue to push for it and um, you're going to you know, be able to continue to be motivated by that. Why now don't get me wrong. Goals are good and you should have easy attainable goals that you can hit and celebrate getting those goals, but that should not be your overall. Why you should have a why that is attainable, but that is ongoing. So it's something that you can achieve and continue to achieve and continue to work with. 
uh, that's why a lot of times some kind of a personal thing like with a, with family or whatever um, works really, really well for a why. Just saying that you want to lose weight is not enough of a why. You're going to find ways to get past that. The other key piece with the why is you want to remind yourself of that why every day. I know it sounds a bit much, but trust me, you want to remind yourself of your why every day. That's going to keep you motivated and keep you going. Now, another tip that I want to give you has to do with having an accountability partner. Accountability partners are huge for your motivation and keeping you accountable. So, you know, if there's somebody out there, a family member or a friend that you know that can be an accountability partner, that is great. If you don't have anybody like that, maybe you have a friend on social media that you can use. And if you still don't think that you really got somebody that's going to work really well in that situation, then find a group. Matter of fact, I have a free private community on Facebook. So if you do use Facebook, you can go with that. I'm going to link uh, down in the comments below. I'm going to have a link to that uh, group where you can require, request access. And uh, we will, you know, we work with each other on keeping ourselves accountable. And um, motivation is a big piece of everything and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we like to post uh, what we're eating all the time and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's definitely an option for you if you need an accountability partner. Sometimes a, just a group can work as the accountability, or maybe you can find somebody in that group that you can pair with and be accountable to each other.